Hey folks, great news. Uh, I was able to get um, uh, direction control working. Um, I changed a lot. There were a couple bugs in the code. Um, in the last video, it was an hour, and there was just so much going on. Uh, basically what's happening is, is that the system is tumbling like crazy, the magnetorquers are bringing the angular velocity down, and then once the reaction wheels kick in, it brings the uh, Y and Z, the pitch and yaw angles, to zero, and it puts the roll angle at one radian, which is around 57 degrees. Um, I've got sensor noise in here. Um, you can take a look at the uh, angular velocity. So, uh, like I said, you know, it's, it's initially high and it brings it down and once it gets below a tolerable level, the reaction wheels kick in. Um, you can see that here. Reaction wheels are not on, not on, not on, and then boom, they kick on. And then the, uh, you can see the current, same thing. And so, uh, how did I get it to work? Uh, well, I, I ran a, a, a git diff command so you can kind of see what I changed. So, uh, the first thing I did uh, that I realized was uh, I, what I really need to do is just tune my gains. So I had like KD at 350, I changed that to 45, and I made my KP1. And he, my, you can see my PT command is at 100. And then I just threw in the uh, PD controller there. Now the reason for the 350 versus the 45 is actually because it turns out the inertias were completely wrong. Um, for a 2U CubeSat, a 10 by 10 by 20 CubeSat, um, at 2.6 kilograms, uh, 10 by 10 by 20, the inertias, I had them at 0.9, they are really more like 0.01, not 0.09 or even 0.9, but 0.01, uh, which is way smaller. So uh, my reaction wheels were basically trying to control a really, really high inertia satellite, basically like a very light, like a very uh, low density yacht, essentially. It's like, it was like really big, so a lot of inertia, but not very many, but not very much mass, which was odd. Um, and so I basically used the cuboid model to compute the inertia, and that kind of made more sense. Um, I also increased the angular velocity in the initial conditions, changed the time step. I also moved the reaction wheels closer to the center of mass. That way they aren't like bumbling around. Um, and that, I, think, I think that's about it. There's a couple other cosmetic changes, but those were the big things. So if you go to the, uh, the, the control law here now, uh, basically, the only difference is this uh, this control law here. You can see, uh, you know, KD and KP for PTP command, and so I guess it, it worked out that I made the Star Tracker model in the previous video because I actually ended up using it in this one, um, which is which is good. So this is a pretty short uh, uh, and sweet video. I basically just threw the PD controller in there. Um, I'm kind of on a roll here, so I, I might try and get the uh, off-axis reaction wheel model working real quick and see if I can get that to work. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this short video, and if you have questions about this, uh, just post it in the comments. See you in the next one.